these are my tips for FX Schema. Um, let's get started. So always try to build it as simple as possible. FX Schema offers you to build explicit risers and you can use multiple blocks for the same conditions. And you should really focus on minimizing the blocks you use for your logic because this way there aren't a lot of chances to get bugs inside of your collision blocks. So the less blocks you use, the better the code will be. Then uh, don't watch it because I know in the beginning um, it's always better to try out each condition separately and see if it really works and then step by step putting together your complete EA by adding the different condition blocks together. And from my experience, it's easier to get started with simple projects and then build up the complexity of your structures. So, well, if you're stuck, uh, it happened to me several times, it's best to take a step back. So, it's, for me, what works best is that to use the trace activity block. This one will let me know if the condition runs as it should and this way I can see if there's an error in it or a bug that needs to be fixed. And besides this, which also worked really great for me, was that once I got stuck and I didn't know what to do with the projects, I took a day off and came back the other day and I immediately found where my issue was or I found it way faster and it got me less uh, frustrated. So. There's also this little trick, so there's no need to use the pass block, but I always use it because I feel like um, it makes a lot of sense for the structure in my mind. But in theory, you could also not use it and directly connect the condition block to your action block. So besides this, um, it's to get the best results for your expert advisor, you should use the strategy test optimization tool. This one allows you to uh, test out multiple settings of your EA and this way you can backtest uh, your EA fast and see what settings works best on what time frame and then it will help you to forward test your expert advisor and get it really profitable. Be free to check out my Udemy course I teach you how to properly use FX Streamer and how to automate your strategies using it.